Level of consciousness, item 1B, is based on the patient's answers to two specific questions, the month of the year and the patient's age. Would you please tell me your age? How old are you? Fifty-three. Okay. And tell me what month it is right now. Uh, February. Okay. For scale item 1B, this patient scored a zero. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score a zero if both questions are answered correctly. Score a one if only one question is answered correctly. By definition, patients unable to communicate because of endotracheal intubation, orotracheal trauma, severe dysarthria from any cause, a language barrier, or any other problem not secondary to aphasia are scored a one. Score a two if neither question is answered correctly. A patient who scores a three on level of consciousness 1A must be scored a two on this scale item. Aphasic and stuporous patients who do not comprehend the questions will score a two. If the patient is in a coma, a score of two would be assigned. Because this is a standardized test and to ensure reproducibility of results, other measures of orientation, such as time of day, location, etc., are not asked as part of this examination. But a patient who cannot speak may be allowed to write the answer. If the patient has aphasia, you need to judge his responses to questions in light of the language impairment. Like always, only score the initial answer. If the patient first gives an incorrect answer and then corrects himself, it is nevertheless scored as an incorrect answer. Many patients will give you their date of birth when you ask for their age. This is scored as a wrong answer. There's no partial credit for answers that are close, like being off by a month.